Welcome everyone, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and today I'll be showing you how to create a bootable USB for Linux, on Linux rather. Uh, keynote, this software is cross-platform, so it'll work on Windows, Linux, and Mac, uh, and it supports both 60, I mean, blah, 86 and 64-bit architectures. Uh, it is not unit boot in. Uh, if anyone has used it before in the past, I'm pretty sure you have come across one or two issues where you find it to be very inconsistent, and I can't agree with you more because it really is inconsistent. Etcher, it's a fairly recent software. It came out in 2016, but earlier 2016, and I have nothing but great success with the software. It's free, it's open source, it's minimal, and it goes straight to the point, which I really like. Okay, so first things first, you have to download the software. So open up your browser and type in etcher.io. I will put the link in the description below for your convenience. And once you go into their homepage, you'll be greeted with this page and clicking here you'll see the different operating systems that it supports so once you download it and execute it this is the window that, you, that you'll be prompted with and the first thing it will ask is for an image now this would be the ISO file or the distribution that you want to install onto the USB uh, this could also be um, a Windows if you'd want wouldn't recommend it because Linux for the win. So <laughs> select the image, which I'm going to do right now. Double click. I have Ubuntu 16.04, and voila. The second step here, you see, it says select drive, and it has automatically selected the USB drive that I have connected to my desktop. Now, if you have only one USB flash drive it would automatically detect that one as the one that you want to use so it would display that here but say you connect another one right after this all I have to do is click change and then select that flash drive very easy straightforward then click continue lastly select flash and there you go so it, uh, it's pretty pretty fast doesn't really take up much of your time say ETA 2 minutes uh, yeah it's going up and down yeah it's pretty fast though I, I had no issues in speed very consistent uh, very easy software uh, like I said I've used them in distributions I highly recommend it uh, check it out guys great piece of software um, yeah and uh, on this channel I'll also be doing other videos on how to you how to do how to use other softwares um, use your recent softwares that's come out uh, for Linux of course Linux compatible uh, as well as some software that are cross-platform I will be doing some Linux customization since I am definitely one for customizing uh, I love customizing my desktop my laptop my Android phone uh, which is another thing I'll be going into Android customization and uh, yeah just uh, anything that I think other people should benefit from and other things that people should know alright guys so that's it my name is Danny this is TechRidge